The KYSHDYM disaster. The nuclear catastrophe the world didn't know. Location. Mayak nuclear facility. KYSHDYM. Soviet Union. Now Russia. Date. September 29, 1957. Severity. Level 6 on the 7-point international nuclear event scale. Just below Chernobyl and Fukushima. A secret disaster. The KYSHDYM disaster was one of the worst nuclear accidents in history but the world didn't hear about it for decades. Why? Because the Soviet government completely covered it up. What happened? At the Mayak nuclear plant, radioactive waste was stored in a massive underground tank. The cooling system failed, causing temperatures to rise unnoticed. On September 29, 1957, the tank exploded with a force of about 70 to 100 tons of TNT. A radioactive cloud spread across 20,000 square kilometers, 7,700 square miles. The fallout. Around 270,000 people were exposed to high levels of radiation. At least 22 villages were evacuated and completely erased from Soviet maps. The most contaminated zone is still known as the East Ural Radioactive Trace. The town of Oziorsk, where the plant workers lived, was a closed city invisible on maps and unreachable to outsiders. Human toll. Soviet scientists and cleanup crews, later known as liquidators, were exposed to deadly radiation. Reports estimate hundreds of radiation-related deaths, though exact numbers remain uncertain due to secrecy. Victims were often forbidden to speak of the event or seek treatment outside official Soviet channels. How the world found out. The West first got wind of the disaster in 1976, when Soviet dissident Jerez Medvedev published details from exiled sources. Even then, officials were skeptical because the Soviets had denied everything. Only after Chernobyl did the Soviet Union finally begin to acknowledge past nuclear accidents, including KYSHDYM, a disaster hidden in plain sight. The KYSHDYM disaster was so secret it's named after a nearby town that wasn't even involved, just to hide its connection to the classified site of Mayak. To this day, parts of the surrounding region remain uninhabitable, and the true toll is still cloaked in Cold War silence.